In this training video, we'll be talking about service zones. A service zone is an abstract way of organizing your service providers into different categories for availability and pay purposes. The names of these zones could be based on geographical locations, such as cities or states or countries, or their names could have nothing to do with geography. For example, tier A and tier B and so on. Service zones are used to determine which pay rate is selected to pay a service provider for an assignment. Service zones are also used to determine whether or not a service provider is available for an assignment. To set up our service zones, let's visit the service zones option, which is located under the billing menu. Here we can see a list of service zones that are already in the system. We're going to add a new service zone. We do this by clicking on the Create a New Service Zone button. The first thing we need to do is give this new service zone a name. Let's call it the Big Island Service Zone. Let's save this new service zone. Now let's update one of our customers to use this new service zone by default when we create service provider slots for that customer. In the customer profile, you can see a default settings tab. Click on that. Here you can see that the default service zone is currently set to be the Los Angeles service zone. This means that any service provider slots created for service requests from this customer will automatically be assigned to the Los Angeles service zone. Let's change this to be the new Big Island service zone. Now let's click on the Save Changes button. We have successfully created a Big Island service zone and we have it set up so that one of our customers can use it by default when we create service provider slots for their service requests. This concludes the training on service zones.